I'm going to keep diverting us, unfortunately, because I, I want to talk about this one little thing. And then we can just go a little over noon yeah, no, with so this I, valuable I'm question. What, I'm curious what it was. Um, <coughs> that last me. night I experienced a high amount of stress to get ready for <laughs> an impromptu him seeing like last evening of Advent kind of celebration we over, had over at Hebron. And it was really strange how stressed out I was getting as the time got closer because um, I guess what happened was I had tasks that I had to finish. So I'm just going to talk about this for a minute. I had tasks that I had to finish that are due today. And um, and then I had tasks that I had to finish that were due then. And... Um, and I couldn't, I didn't feel like I could get all of it done Mm -hmm. and I got very stressed out. Because you don't manage your time (laughs) (laughs) at all. (laughs) But I know exactly how much 10 minutes can hold. Um, it's just oftentimes I try to put too much in my 10 minutes. You overestimate how much 10 minutes can hold. Um, and then if and I'm almost done, out. if I'm like, okay, I have 10 minutes, but I have 15 minutes worth of dishes. I'm going to do 10 minutes worth of dishes. Then by the time I get to the last five mm-hmm. minutes of dishes, I'm like, but I only have five mm-hmm. more minutes of dishes. So I just keep doing it right? to finish. Right. So maybe I'm a so finishing the, freak. The clock doesn't stop. Um, well, just task oriented is what you said. And I think that's fair. <laughs> I think that's fair. Now to see, this is neither a judgment nor a criticism, um, to be either say task oriented versus time oriented. They are going to have strengths and weaknesses each. Absolutely. They both can be idols each. Mm-hmm. Uh, the carnal man's going to hide in them each. Uh, they're going to be slave masters to you when you do that each. Yeah. Um, they can be great gifts to you each. Yeah. So, um, you're task oriented. My suggestion a moment ago again was, so now that you know that, can you use that to break its own loop a little bit? Mm -hmm. Um, See the way you approach the task as something that will teach you what you're doing enough that you can ask, do I want to do it this way or do I want to actually make a decision to do it differently this time? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I think, uh, I think it's a matter of, like I said, I'm a finishing freak mm -hmm. and I, I really kind of am. And I don't know when (laughs) that, how that was instilled in me, how that came about. If it's, if it's because I was told like, you know, finish your supper. Does that make you a finishing freak? I don't know. But like, it's really challenging for me to just push that one last bite away. Yeah, I get that. Um, um, we were all training with that one pretty hard in the 80s. But like what happened yesterday, what made me stressed out about yesterday, I stressed out yesterday. And I think what contributed to it was I had my tasks priorities flip-flopped. So I had a task that was due today uh-huh. and I made it a priority over uh-huh. the tasks that were due yesterday. Because you're task oriented and so you 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 lack a capacity to rearrange your time. Yeah. You don't seem to be able to change your plans on certain levels. Because what I would do, if I knew I had a party to go to, Mm -hmm. and I only had so much time where I had to go there, the last thing I would do is try to fit it all in because I know I can't. This is why it gets stressful is when it gets tight. Okay? Mm -hmm. Um, I know I can't. And so I know I need to now use time to make a decision about what I can really do. And mm-hmm. something's got to get cut because being on time drives me. Yeah. Now I don't like this. Right? Again, it can be a strength. It can be a weakness. It drives me. So th- I'm not saying you have to be like me. I'm saying that developing the capacity mm-hmm. to reassess. Yeah. I have 15 minutes of work and I have 10 minutes to do it. And someone's counting on me. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm not going to finish this task. I'm not even going to start this task. I don't have time to do it. Yeah. Well, and, and interestingly enough, like yesterday, um, some of that kicked in, like I drove Mm -hmm. instead of walked. Mm -hmm. Um, I had, I did other things with my own toilet in order to like 
avoid. Is that like a character from some French novel? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Um, in order to avoid wasting time in front of the mirror, uh, um, you know, there were just, there were, I did, I cut a whole bunch of yeah, stuff, that's good. but I didn't avoid the stress. No, like I could feel myself. Too much. So like, I'm wondering if I should look back and be like, you know what? That was a, that was a growing moment because instead of just being stressed and being crabby with everybody, I was like, wow, I'm super stressed. Mm. I'm going to something I'm looking forward to and I'm getting super stressed out about it. Sometimes. So I guess that is a, a sometimes move in the right direction. a party on Friday night <laughs> is just too much. Yeah. Right? Now, that doesn't mean it's always too much. No. But sometimes it is. Um, if you're going to, it's going to be something. It is a lot. A party mm-hmm. on Friday night is something and a lot. Always. Mm-hmm. Because you've so had then, a full day of work. Well, but no. Before. You, therefore, you, if you want to enjoy the party, you need to not have a full day of work before. Yeah. You have to have time to get ready for the party because getting ready for a party is its own work. And it's, mm-hmm. it's, so we're addicted to thinking we can just do it all, all the time and it's not true. Yeah. And your soul wears it hard, hard. Yeah. Huh? 